This week on Life on Jupiter, we continue America's Great Loop, exploring the Big Apple. We're in New York! <laughs> Yay! We finally got here. It's a, I don't know, a milestone, I guess. Yep. And it's the new chapter beginning, end of sailing and start of motoring. Oh. Motorboat from now on. So, yeah, pretty cool. A little bit difficult to be a cruiser in New York City. Yeah. We had trouble trying to find somewhere to park the dinghy yesterday. Uh, and our friend Steve, who's been helping us, ended up slipping the guy some money to allow us to stay at a, a restaurant dock. Um, I don't know how much he gave. I gave him 20 and he said, yeah, that's a little bit. You know, so I think it was going to be a lot more than that. Oh my God. Probably a 50. He yeah. slipped the guy so we could leave the dinghy there. Yeah. Just so we can go to Manhattan. Time to go explore Manhattan. We've got a new plan. We're going to go up the river to uh, up near Central Park. There's a, a boat harbour and they can, we can use their dinghy dock. Mm -hmm. Leave the dinghy for the day and go play in Manhattan. So uh, it's a tiring thing walking around the city all day. <laughs> but anyway, you've got to do it. We don't walk much normally. Yeah, exercise. Exactly. We've got to burn off all that uh, New York pizza and yeah. bagels and cheesecakes. Still haven't had cheese. We've got to go get um, cheesecake. Yeah, today. After completing the obligatory tourist photo shoot, we thought we'd go and check out the Brooklyn Bridge before heading up the Hudson River. Getting on a, a bucking bronco. Oh, poor Ayo. <laughs> Hudson River Rodeo. Good. Careful. You cannot see how strong it is if you're in the big boat. <laughs> no. You know, maybe we cannot be, we don't need to use the outboard. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just drift. Coming back, we're gonna need a. Yeah. A tug. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. What? That's a good thing. There's at least two and a half, three knots here. Yeah. So strong. So, we're gonna go to the city today again. <laughs> Yep. 
we'll try to see more of New York. Bye, Juby. $26 just to tie, tie up the dinghy. done wrong now. Jupiter, Jamie and Princess, I love your channel. <laughs> I just thank it in front, not too close, of you. Would love to say hi. Here for one night, Elliot. Oh, we need to stay one night, baby. No, no, he's here for one night, so it was us. So we'll say good day. He's in, in the boat? he's in front of us. Yeah. Oh, okay, you can go there. <laughs> We've been getting this a fair bit here in New York. That's very cool. <laughs> the episode? <laughs> hey, come on. I think we decided only our first names. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we don't trust you. It's all right. <laughs> right there. 
Okay. For you guys. Wow, thank you. Uh, I am so excited. <laughs> I've been watching you guys since the very first episode. Really? Very oh. first. We went by, I thought he was going to do a Forrest Gump. I thought he was going to run off the end of the boat and come swimming towards the dam. Exactly. Yeah. You know, the other night we went uh, into Greenwich Village in uh, New York City just to go see some live music that I'd Googled up. It was free, but uh, at $10 a beer, it wasn't really free. <laughs> but it wasn't even that good. It was just a duo. It was okay. Anyway, today we've been busy uh, doing videos all day. And lo and behold, a band turns up on our doorstep. <laughs> So we're sitting here, we've got the, the snacks, the drinks, about to rock out to a jazz quintet. One, two, three, four, five, I think. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> New York, awesome. Get a move on. Our first full day. Oh, well, it won't be full day. Our first motoring up the canals. Well, it's still a river. But yeah, there's, oh, there's a little chance we may get a breeze. It has been a southerly breeze lately. We can open a, a sail. But we are a motorboat now. Let's get moving. Anchor up. Ready? Coming down again. Yeah. So as not to overstress the mounting bolts on the windlass, I attached a Dyneema rope to a horn cleat. This will take all the strain off the windlass. Left and right. Of course, we tried maneuvering the boat to the left of the anchor, to the right, upstream, downstream, which in itself is hard work against the current of the Hudson River. Scratching the holes, B.
<laughs> Tried pulling from all angles. Try and pull as much chain in as we can now. Cut it away. We are attached to this. The uh, parks department, we anchored down there. The parks department said, you can't anchor here, go up there. And I wasn't watching closely, but you know, we are stuck. We've spent, what, 45 minutes trying to free this anchor. And it uh, doesn't say what it is, it just says obstruction. And uh, see, we use the uh, the depth sounder here. We got the, uh, you know, this shows a really flat bottom. I don't see any. It's been, you know, it's, it's been really flat. I haven't seen anything there. So, but we found it. So we've tried letting all the chain out because um, do you think that we're not even near the anchor? It feels like the anchor's up here, yeah. the chain is run along here, got caught on something. So there's possibly, you know, 40 meters of chain, maybe not that much, but nearly, yeah, say 30 meters of chain. Uh, that we're going to have to cut away, and losing the chain and the anchor. That's a thousand dollars of chain and a seven hundred dollars of anchor. I thought about diving on it. Um, the visibility zero, obviously. It's a river, and that could be dangerous with being an unknown obstruction it, it, if it was something that had wires and you know pipes and stuff I could easily get hooked my uh, scuba gear could get uh, entangled on something so it's sort of a dangerous thing in zero visibility got enough chain to anchor in these depths on the river but we're going to end up with a short anchor chain um, and we've got the other anchor but uh, this is our main anchor so. I'm going to give it another see the tide's still going out Give it another hour and then the tide's going to be coming in and we're going to have to let more chain out because the boat's going to be under the water so uh, that's our critical time we have to decide cut away i can't think of any other options i've tried let all the chain out and then go sideways to it in this current it's a bit hard but we went sideways to try pull from a different angle can't go sideways that way because it's the bank of the river. Ah. Could you, let's try this. I want to have a better look on the screen what it may look like, give me some clue about what we could do. Um, so we're going to let the chain out again so I can maneuver a little bit. <clears throat> let's do that.
trying to maneuver over the obstruction just to try to see what it could be. Pipe or something, you know. Um, see an anchor chain here. Uh, not really getting what we want to see. We're, all, we're close to shore now, so we're actually pulling on the other side. So that's a good thing. I don't think so. I have no clue. <laughs> this is really quite useless. Yeah. No. <laughs> Someone. Yeah. I mean, as we know, as a shallow. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna get the angle grinder. Hey B, can you run out the extension light, the extension, the white one? <sighs> run it out the front window, B. Do one more pull. Can't bring myself to do it. I'm gonna just give it one more little pull around. <laughs> 